Now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Miguel Hannah Harding. Well, good afternoon. It is a warm and muggy afternoon across the region. We're taking a live look from Beach Island, looking at partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. So just seeing some cracks and crevices, just enough for that sunshine to peek through. But you can see these puffy cumulus clouds with our Beach Island tower camera about 750 feet in the air. We're looking at temperatures at 81 degrees from Bushfield Airport that do point almost at 70. So that's making it feel like 84 degrees outside. We do have a west wind at about eight miles per hour, trying to help cool us off just a bit, but a little bit of a warm and dry wind there. As we look at the radar network, though you can see uh, some active weather still across portions of Alabama now in the Florida Panhandle with, with a severe thunderstorm warning down there. We do have this low level trough across our area, so that's helping to keep those clouds around a little bit longer for this afternoon. And you can see that across the CSRA and also a good chunk of the two state just seeing a good bit of cloud cover right now. Current temperatures as a result of that cloud cover only in the upper 70s right now in Aiken, so not too bad. We find those temperatures in the lower 80s elsewhere. High temperatures for today should be able to get up to 90 if we can get enough sunshine to get us there, but if not, we could end up with some mid to upper 80s around the region. So close to average, if not just below average for today with the mixture of clouds and sun. Low temperatures tonight dip back down towards the mid and upper 60s, so not really falling all too much as we do keep a little bit of cloud cover through tonight and also some humidity. Then high temperatures for your Saturday pretty much going to top out similar to where they should be for today in the upper 80s, a little bit closer towards seasonal with more of those lower 90s possible tomorrow as we do see more sunshine. Your Father's Day forecast shaping up not to be too bad as we head towards Sunday. We are going to track the chance though for some of those isolated to widely scattered showers and storms and it'll still be hot with those temperatures right around 90 here in Augusta. As far as the Juneteenth forecast getting into your Monday, we are going to see those rainfall chances begin to tick up as we head towards Monday. Unfortunately, with those temperatures only in the mid 80s by then and then we're talking about temperatures struggling to get to 80 as we head towards Tuesday through Thursday of next week. A lot of rainfall in the forecast moving past Father's Day. Some locations could pick up close to three, maybe even four inches uh, over the next five days before it's all said and done. Looking at that possible distribution of rainfall across the area, we look at Friday through Sunday with those isolated to widely scattered rainfall chances, but Monday into Tuesday, that's when that rainfall does become a little bit more widespread across the area. And we do have some flooding concerns as well. The Weather Prediction Center has already placed us under a slight to marginal risk for Monday, so about four days out. And with that being said, uh, they have pretty good confidence that there is the chance for some heavier downpours that could cause some scattered flat flash flooding issues. And as we head towards your Tuesday, if we do see some soaking rainfall on Monday, that risk could definitely increase heading into Tuesday. You can see this slight risk encompasses the entire region with that scattered uh, flash flood potential there as we head towards Tuesday as well. With the hour by hour forecast for today, we should keep things mostly dry, but the latest model run does show a little bit more of those isolated showers popping up for the afternoon. So keep the umbrella nearby if you have any outdoor plans for today. Heading through this evening, moving past sunset, the majority of any shower and storm activity we see definitely should come to an end. And then for your day tomorrow, we'll have that chance once again for maybe some isolated showers and storms, but not a complete washout expected for Father's Day weekend. Rainfall chances do go up though by next week and temperatures only near 80 Tuesday through Thursday.